It is Monday night once again, and here we are at the Maverick Soul Hour with Tommy Marr right here on Madhouse TV. We got a great show for you tonight. I promise you, I promise you, we have a great show. But as usual, I want to go through my week. It was kind of a you know 50-50 week, but we did have some great things going on. Uh, uh, first of all, I want to tell you that we did the uh, Jimi Hendrix 70th birthday party at BB King's last week. That show will be shown next Monday, and I will be here. So, but you are going to be blown away by the interviews and the uh, bands that played at this thing. It was, it was an incredible night for all of us. It really was. It was an honor to be there, and uh, I thank Larry Blumenstein and um, uh, Neville Chester's. Thank you guys and BB Kings. Uh, I thank you for letting, be, always being so gracious to have us there. Uh, I also would like to thank. My girl, my girl, Parita, she was awesome last week. She was um, incredible, Incre incredible talent. And Parita, I just want to let you know, like that blues song that we played at the end of the show last night, I've had so many people come over and say, oh, I want to hear the rest of that song. So uh, I'm sorry I couldn't come down Friday night and see you, but I will make it up to you and we'll be at your next show. Uh, and again, you've been so gracious to us and you were a great guest and we love Rickety. Rickety is awesome band. Go see them. I, I tell you, we're going to actually open for them the first week of January, so I'll keep you in tune with that one. So watch for that show. Um, I also want to say happy birthday to my grandson, Jaden. He was nine years old yesterday. And, Jaden, you're my man. What an athlete this kid is. He's going to be a Yankee or a Giant. I guarantee it. Uh, love you, Jaden. Happy birthday. And now my other grandson, Derek, is on the 7th. So we had one on. And Chase was on the Thanksgiving. So I have three right in a row. So can't win. Then Christmas, too. So, uh, But that's all for my grandsons. Happy birthday. Love you guys. Um, and Saturday, uh, Tom and myself and Janine and Vicky and Neville Chesters, we went up to do a benefit for uh, the Hurricane Sandy. We went up to Pearl River, New York, and I, I got to tell you, uh, it was for Tom's show, but uh, he asked me to come up with him and help him out, and uh, I got to tell you, this town was it, was, it was really amazing. I mean, I've been to nice towns, but I mean, it was a lot of bikers. I think there was three or four different uh, biker clubs there. It was in two different bars and a tattoo parlor, and I think even a comic book store or something, but the people were so kind. I mean, there was not anybody with a bad vibe up there. Everybody was extremely kind. I mean, when Tom and I walked down the block, the whole village, it was like the Frankenstein movie with the, they might as well had the, the torches out following us. But, I mean, it was really, they were great. They were great hosts. And um, they, did, they did amazing things to raise money for these people that are so in such pain still. And... Um, when, when you see the interviews up there, you'll, you'll know what we'll talk about. I don't know exactly when that show is going to run, but that'll be another show not to miss. And uh, we'd like to thank the uh, Revolution Tattoo Parlor up there, uh, our boy Mick Metal. He was uh, – I actually uh, – Tom, Tom stepped up and said, uh, well, uh, why don't Tommy Marr we'll get him a uh, tattoo? I said, yeah, what's the big deal? So he didn't know I had tattoos. So he said, oh, I'll get you a tattoo. So – the tattoo guy uh, Mick said, well, he called you out. You called him out. Now you got to do it. So we, they all decided they would give $100 to Sandy if I got a tattoo. So I got one. So at least we raised an extra 100 bucks. So another $100 for Madhouse. And uh, the people were re really great. It was, a, it was a very enjoyable day. And then we went from there. We had to go to another benefit in Belmore with Mickey B. Um, it was, a, it was a big, big night there, packed house. Um, I'm sure they raised a lot of money, and we enjoyed that evening also. And um, that was a good, Mickey, thank you for having us there. Um, also, I just want to let you know that fr this Friday night, i am be playing with a new band. I'll be fronting a new band in at the Blue Parrot called Hollow Point. Uh, a lot of Zeppelin, Allman Brothers, Marshall Tucker, all that kind of good stuff. And... Um, Come on down to the Blue Parrot, and uh, we're going on at 9, and that's going to be a good night because uh, there's going to be a lot of people there. I can guarantee it. 
And just for you Zeppelin freaks, um, as you know, they were inducted into the Kennedy uh, Center. But uh, just I'm just going to give you a little hint that tonight that they're all, Led Zeppelin is on David Letterman tonight. So I just want to let all you guys know that. But uh, we're going to go to a commercial break, and we're going to come back with some very good friends of mine. They are... You, you talk about professional musicians. Well, I got three of them sitting here. I don't care. These guys at the top of the game. I'll go into who they are and who they played with and everything. But we'll be back in a little bit with the group called In The Moment. So hang in there. Get yourself tightened up and uh, sit back and enjoy some good music and some good conversation right here at Madhouse TV. Hi, this is Mickey. Hi, this is Mickey B, the Prince of Rock and Roll. Join me for my rock and solid gold holiday dance party Saturday, December 1st, 8 p.m. at the Belmore Columbus Club, 2333 Belmore Avenue in Belmore, with the rock and sounds of the 50s through the 80s, starring the Accords. The Fabuliers, third edition, and DJ Ace playing all your rocking hits. Party with Santa, Full Hot Buffet, Coffee Dessert Cash Bar, Reservations Required. Call 516-822-9612, 516-822-9612, or MickeyB.com. Sponsored by... Welcome to Formula Auto Wash, where every day is a great day for a car wash. Open seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Sundays, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Detailing packages for every budget, starting out at $29.99. 100% hand wash and detail centre. Hot hair and microfiber brushes and mitts. Proudly used in Ecolab Blue Coral soaps and waxes. Formula Auto Wash has served the community for over 30 years. See any discounts all day, every day. Ladies Day Wednesday, $3 off any wash. Early bird discount Monday through Thursday till 9.30 a.m. Check out our website, formulaautowash.com. b and Performance Cycles, 439 South Main Street, Messina, New York. We handle all parts, accessories, and do all repairs. We can custom build your bike for show or hot rod. We also do New York State inspections on all motorcycles. b and Performance Cycles, come see us today. We are back with the Maverick Soul right here with Tommy Marr on Madhouse TV. And uh, I got to tell you, we got a kind of a different show tonight, but we have the highest level of musicians that you're going to get. Uh, we have a group here called In The Moment. And uh, I, I'd like to introduce everyone. To my right here is Mike Armando. You are the guitar player, right? And then Rick. Rick. Constantine, 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 Constantine. Constantine. Yeah. Yeah. drummer, Drummer. 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 and my man man over here, Andy Andy Goba, Goba. and And I just want to put a little little footnote in, in. Andy Andy and I, and his brother, who is an amazing, amazing guitar player, which we all know, even though they they want to kill each other every moment of every practice, (laughs) but uh, it's it's so so sad, and if Paul, if you're watching, I like I said, it's like having a Rolls Royce in the garage with no tires. You know what I mean? The guy is so good, and he's just you know, but he's a great guy. Love you, Paul. And uh, but Andy used to actually was in a band with me way back, not way back, but probably at least ten, twelve years yeah, ago yeah, somewhere. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that's how the name the Maverick Soul came about. That's how we came up with the Maverick Soul out. Oh, it was called the Maverick Soul Band at that time, but. That's how I got the name for the show, The Maverick Soul, because I always loved the name. And that's it. So these are the gentlemen right here. 
I tell you, um, I don't even know where to start. These guys have done everything. I mean, Rick, you played with B.B. King. You played with, with uh, Rod, Rod Stewart. Stewart. Mm -hmm. Bonnie, Bonnie Raitt, Raitt. Whitney, Whitney Houston. Houston. Uh, uh, there's, there's a list that goes on and on and on. I mean, uh, that's, that's quite, quite a little, little resume, resume you got, got there. there. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now, let me ask you a question. question. When you, you played with Rod Stewart, was Carmine in the group then? No, it was after him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Carmine. I guess he could have been a few playing drums. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, Carmine and I, and I uh, were, were friends. friends. We, we did uh, uh, drum clinics together. together. Yeah, yeah. Well, we, we know Carmine, Carmine very well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very yeah. Well. yeah. Actually, Actually, they're going, they're going to, to Japan, Japan tomorrow. tomorrow. Oh, that's oh, another thing. thing, guys. guys cactus, cactus. Good, good luck on your tour tomorrow in Japan. Have a great safe trip. I just have to throw that in there. Yeah. So yeah, we did. We did some clinics for saving symbols together, and that's that's all I got. Great guy. Yeah, he's crazy. 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 Crazy, I guess. But that's now like when you um what we getting some feedback over there? Um where did you play with with like BBK? Where did you play with them? I played with them when I was in my twenties, like early twenties. Um uh it was a pretty wild experience because uh he hired, he hired me because, because I was playing, playing with, uh, with uh, an, 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 an orchid trio. trio. I'm, I'm from, from Rochester, New York. New York. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, uh, I, was I was playing, playing with just, just a local organ trio, trio up there. there. And, and uh, he, he was there. there. And, and uh, like, like, like my, my groove. groove. And, and uh, uh, just, just asked me to, 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 to play. And I mean, I knew who he was, you know, guitar player buddies of mine. But that was really, outside of Chuck and Joni, and if it was a Chuck and Joni quartet, uh, before, uh, before that, that but, but uh, uh, that, that was really, really pretty much, much my first, first like, like big, big kind of. And Bonnie Ray, where did, how did, how did you get involved? That happened in New York in the 80s. I guess the shows were in, in the city. city. Yeah, yeah. She, she must have been great to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And there was, and there a, was band, a band, another band from upstate, upstate New York, New York called, called Orleans, that that a bunch of those guys like knew her, and the connection came from from those guys in the band Orleans, which is another upstate New York band. That's, That's super, super cool. That's That's super. Cool. And Whitney Houston, I mean, my God, Rod Stewart. It goes on and on and on. Um, I'm being told I have to go to a commercial. We're going to go to a com quick commercial. We'll be right back. Hang in there. Get tight. We'll be right back with the Maverick Solo. <laughs> sitting in with Chris doing a reading. Let's see what's going on. Okay, I, I've never had a reading like this before, so just bear with me. I, I'm, I'm seeing bugs. Bugs? I thought you were a psychic medium. I know, that's what's confusing. Uh, hold on. Do you want the good news or the bad news? I'll take the bad news. I think these are spirit bugs. Spirit bugs? I've never heard of spirit bugs. <laughs> that's just it. Do you want the good news? Yes. I know Joe from Bug Busters of Long Island. He'll take care of your problem. That's great. We are back live once again with the Maverick Soul. I'm sorry we had a little technical difficulty there with some sound, but we're back. We're okay. Um, I didn't want to cut you off. Um, Bonnie Raitt, good good time? Oh, yeah. yeah. Did, did, did you, you tour, tour with, with her? her? Yeah, just, yeah, just, no, no, just, just some local, local gigs in the city. city. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Didn't that go on the local. What was your, what was your, uh, what just happened again? Your, your most, most uh, um, Happiest, happiest thing, thing you've done, done, done with, with, with you, you know, celebrity. Um, I, would I would probably say, say uh, other than these two, two gentlemen. gentlemen. Yeah. yeah. I, I, no, no I'd, I'd probably, probably say Whitney Houston, Houston because, because I met her through, through uh, her mother. mother. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sissy, yeah. yeah. And, and it was kind of before she was famous. I mean, she was on her way to becoming famous. Did you know? Yeah. I mean, anyone would, you know, I guess hear that voice and the kind of. Singer, singer that she was, was. Mm -hmm. great, great singer. singer. 
All right. Mr. Mr. Romando. Romando. Yes. yes. All, All right. right. You, would you would scream in Jay Hawkins. Jay Hawkins. Yeah, I would scream in Jay Hawkins uh, around three years. And uh, that How was, was that? <laughs> Interesting. Right? One of the crazy experiences <laughs> Jeff I had. I mean, you could go on and on with stories of uh, craziness, you know. Yeah. But uh, he was a great performer, uh, great singer. What years? What years was that? Well, that was in the 70s. And, uh, when they were still crazy. Oh, yeah. And uh, I put a spell on you, you know, yeah. with his top, top uh, tune. And uh, we toured all over places in the United States. Uh, but uh, he always used to come out of the coffin. Yeah. And Did you play on that record? No, not on that okay. that tune, but uh, but we played that tune a million right. times. Yeah. But his secret, when they brought in the coffin, he always stuck his finger on the edge, because he said if it's if it closes, he, you know, he was gonna afraid it was going to get locked. So he'd bring an axe oh to the God. to the uh, instructed us. Hence, if, if it ever the locked, crazy to break, screaming to break the whole uh, <laughs> coffin up to get him out. So, I, I remember when I was a kid when. Uh, Used to go to them, you know, the church, the church uh, yeah. dances on Sundays yeah. when, like, junior high. And this one band used to do uh, "Hey Joe," and the guy would come out in the coffin too, and the, and the same thing yeah. too. And he was a big guy too. So, so tell me some um, some of your um, favorite stories as far as playing with who and where. Well, and what? well, with Screaming Jay Hawkins was, you know, some pretty amazing stories. Uh, some of the, uh, you know, we used to rehearse and and. Up, up above the Ed Sullivan Theater. Mm -hmm. So one day he had his cat, and he said, he's letting the cat out. So I said, well, on the 20-something floor, there's no yard here. So I'm saying, how, he always how, 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 <laughs> where's he going to let the cat out? He opens the window, and the cat, it's in the middle of January, the wind's blowing. He has about a, a, a foot ledge, and the cat's walking around the whole building. Wow. Walking himself, I'm saying, well, you know, it's crazy. But... Uh, you know, in the Virginia Theater, when we did that gig there, uh, it was with an oldies group, like the Platters, right. the Marvelettes. I love the Platters. And, and what happened is uh, he always had this uh, powder on the, on the floor, the stage. So what Was it in a line? <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't in a line. Was there a big hose? No, no. <laughs> it was a, a, a powder he had on the floor with a, uh, you'd have to step on it to ignite it. Right. So one time uh, he was hitting it and hitting it, it wouldn't go off. So... He went down there and hit it with his hand, and it blew up in his face. And he singed his forehead. And we his did hair. it Michael Jackson, huh? <laughs> his hair got uh, all singed. So he fell onto the stage, and everybody thought that was part of the act. So they're clapping, standing up, and uh, he, was, he was hurt. So, screaming, Yeah, Jay. so what <laughs> happened is they started <laughs> carrying him off the stage, and he's yelling to us, keep on playing, keep on playing, <laughs> screaming. Him. Well, that's cool. Yeah, so we're playing the blues up there, and we're wondering what's going on. Uh, the ambulance came, and we were playing a long time. And then suddenly uh, he comes out of the stage. He comes out from behind the, the stage and comes back, you know, with a bandage around his head and finishes the performance. Well, that's cool. But, that's you know, cool. he, he was a great guy, good-hearted to his musicians. He paid his musicians good. Uh, it was a great thing. Cool. Now, Mr. Andy Goba. Yes, sir. I know that when we were playing, we were doing a lot of Zeppelin and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. How did this change come? Oh, uh, well, I haven't given up on that stuff quite exactly. I mean, a little less of it now than then, but uh, I'm still in touch with that stuff. I do have a cover band. And, oh, yeah? Uh, yeah. Uh, kind of reforming, restructuring, but we, we covered a bunch of stuff from R&B to uh, classic rock of all types. This guy is really one of the best bass players I've ever heard. Definitely, Thanks. that I've worked with, definitely, without, without question, he's phenomenal. But I was just kind of, you know, I mean, it, you know, from going where we were, you know, I mean, that, it's cool, you know, but uh, I just wondered how the transition happened. I mean, you know, I know, I know you were always into, I mean, I know you're still probably even taking lessons, right? Yeah, from, still uh, taking lessons that guy. from Mike Frost, yeah. and he still, you know, stops by in town like once a month or so. He lives down in uh, South Carolina, and he has his students up here, so he, he teaches them here on Saturdays or whatever day he's here. And uh, yeah, he's a good teacher, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, he taught me the six-string bass, uh, starting with the four-string, really, with that kind of concept and theory, and then expanding upon it. That's kind of why I kind of 
broadening out into this kind of stuff, you know, jazzy fusion. And how did all you guys hook up? How did you just hook up? Well, <laughs> Craigslist was Craig, part of the way. Really? Craigslist, yeah. they put an ad for a bass player, and then Andy answered it, and we got together and uh, Found it out, out he ended up living in the same neighborhood, you know, at a different time span than I lived in, but uh, Woodhaven. So right. it was, we had, like, common ground there. He thought I was... Uh, my brother Paul, when I walked in, he says, "You look like like that guy," because they they actually both went. Did to you the hit same him? High school. <laughs> <laughs> they actually, Mike and Paul actually oh, went really? to the same high school, Frank really? and K. Lane. Yeah, That's and cool. uh, different classes, but you know, it's uh, same building. <laughs> I'd like to ask you these two questions, and I know I know I really shouldn't put you on a spot like that, but I, I'm just curious from my own head. Who was your favorite drummer? Or let me let me let me rephrase that. Who is your biggest influence as a drummer? I mean, I, that's a crazy question. I mean, it's it's like there's so I'm many drummers. Guy. You know, what I, yeah. No, it, it's an interesting question too. I'm sure the fans watching. Yeah. Because you know, people like to know where your background. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm curious. I, I would say Gene Krupa. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I loved watching Gene. Krupa. When I was a kid, I saw that movie, and uh, with Sal Mineo. And he uh, he played the part of Gene Krupa. I mean, he he almost looked like Krupa. <laughs> what about more modern day? What about like you know in the last you know? Do all the jazz drummers, Alvin Jones, Tony Williams, Art Blakey, Philly Joe, all the guy, all the guys that played with Miles and John Coltrane. Bonham. I mean, no one could not be influenced by John Bonham from Led Zeppelin. Mitch Mitchell. Yes. Well, we know Mitch too. Yeah. yeah. We were actually with, I was with Neville Chester's today. He was the road manager for The Who, Cream, yep. and Hendrix. So, you know, yep. uh, he's been coming to, you know, he's been, ha we've been hanging out a lot. So, um, who's your uh, favorite or Well, most I got a bunch. I got a bunch just like Rick. It's, it's hard to pinpoint. No, that's why line. I didn't really want to ask it. But, but I know everybody kind of has a favorite. favorite right? uh, well, Jocko Pastorius for one. But then there's Jack Bruce, John Paul See, Jones. Jack Bruce is one of my favorites. Charles Mingus, can't forget him. And, Jack uh, Bruce is a, yeah. And and Ant Whistle was yeah amazing. He too. was great too. I'll tell you, we had Godfrey on the show. Yes. I and saw that. Uh, you know, like know in, in, in here we had to do an acoustic set with him. Yeah. And right. and Godfrey's a great guy and and a great yeah, musician right. and a great singer, just a great guy all around. And um, he was. Uh, Talking, you know, you know, because I knew it was going to be acoustic, mm -hmm. but I also wanted them to know, because you know, Godfrey's known here, but he's not really known, you know, all over the place. Right. And like I said, we're in 74 countries, so uh, I wanted to give him a taste of uh, what he, what he, what he really does, you know. So I had a, uh, we had a, we started the show with a video from uh, the 25th uh, Woodstock reunion with with uh, Ant Whistle's band, and and they, I forget what the name of the song was. It was like this blues thing. But it was it was so hot. Yeah. I mean, I didn't have to say another to word say that, because, yeah. like, there was no question about what this guy was all yeah. about. And to what Ant Whistle did in this song was just incredible. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it just blew me away. I still watch it every now and then because I can't believe how He's how just, good he was, you know. And uh, what? Do you, okay, the uh, let's see, the guitarist that uh, that really inspired me a lot is Kenny Burrell. Mm -hmm. uh, he was one of my favorites. He was very, uh, very melodic, and uh, he had a great feeling. He was, he was a jazz guitarist, but he 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 took a lot of stuff from blues. So you could hear the blues playing right. in his jazz, and I always idled him. He was my idol, and uh, and the other one is Mike Bloomfield mm -hmm. from the Butterfield Blues sure. Band. Uh, th back in the wow. '60s, uh, yeah, he, he was, was a great guitarist, and. Uh, those two, because with jazz, blues is the common ground of jazz, and you know there's a lot of uh, jazz musicians that came from the blues scene and then moved up to jazz, but they still you could still hear it in their playing. Yeah, and, and the R and B yeah. and everything. I mean, yeah. even, well, even know, Miles Davis, yeah. you could hear it in his playing. Yeah, I mean, Zeppelin is R and B. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it is. Yeah, because it all comes from the blues. Yeah, yeah, it is. It does. Um, I'm real. I, I know we're we're looking forward to, to playing, but I want to. I know we have a CD here that is uh, available. It's called "In the Moment." That's just that's it. That's it, right? Yeah. Yep. 
Now, where can, where can our people get this? Okay, they could get it at uh, cdbaby.com. But if, uh, they might have a problem if they put in the moment because there's a lot of in the moments. So uh, I would put, uh, you could type my name in, Mike Armando, A-R-M-A-N-D-O, at cdbaby.com, and it should come up. Okay. Or you yeah, could try right. in the moment with my name, and it should come up. And then you could hear uh, all the sound uh, bites on there. The musicians on there, uh, me and Andy went up to Boston. It was uh, myself, Andy, and Bob Moses. Uh, we went up to the studio and, and did that CD there. And, and Rick knows Bob Moses very well. Yeah. He's a great drummer and uh, very good. Well, I can tell you, this, this is something that you guys need to go out and get. I mean, now you know where to get it. No excuses. I'm telling you something. All you guys, restaurants and that, this is some really good stuff by some great, great musicians. So one other thing, if they have problems uh, getting it uh, or finding it, they could uh, email me at mjajazz at optinline.net. Okay, you want to repeat that one okay. more time for them? M as in Mike, jajazz at optinline.net. Okay, well, I certainly highly recommend that everybody gets this thing because it's really, 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 really good. And I know these guys, and I know how good they are. I know how professional they are. And uh, it will definitely do you justice, and you'll be very pleased with it. I guarantee it. So um, good luck with that CD, guys. You Thank know? you. Yeah, thanks. Now, um, any, I know you were saying you're kind of uh, on a little hiatus now, but uh, you have anything coming up in the future? Or? Well, we have something that might be coming up. Uh, we usually do the, the Wine Fest Southeast. Mm -hmm. We did it last year at, uh, what was it, Pellegrini's? Uh, I think it was Pellegrini's. Yeah, Pe Pellegrini's. It went off. We had a sold-out crowd. It went over really good. And hopefully we get it that gig this year. Yeah. And just a couple of weeks back, we did uh, the Phil Bowler show, uh, WBKN Radio. That's up in Bridgeport, we did a live performance there, and uh, and we played something jazz club. That's in the city. We played that a few times. Well, maybe we can hook you up, Todd. I want to hook these guys up at Dizzy Gillespie's. How yeah. about that? I'll dig that, Eileen. <laughs> can you go to work for me? I know you're watching. I know you're watching because you said you would be watching tonight. So maybe you can hook up my boys here after you see them play because they they'll do you justice. That's for sure. So. Um, I, I, I would recommend them highly. Um, anything new uh, as far as um, gigs, you know, like other than and th than that? No, well, not at this time. Right now, because I know you said you were recording. Kind of the, we're doing a lot yeah. of recording right now. Yeah. That, that, we're concentrating on you know some original tunes, so we're working on on our recordings. Uh, the main thing we're, we don't want to get sidetracked yet, but. You know, uh, after that, then we'll get that CD out. And that's going to be with Rick on there. But going back to Dizzy's, they have enough material to cover you for a whole night. That's oh, yeah. for sure. They can cover you oh, for yeah. the whole night. They're yeah, ready definitely. to go. Okay, so we'll, 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 we'll try to hook you up with Todd. Yeah. Well, our music, uh, a lot of it's, uh, some of it's straight ahead. Some of it's uh, a little bit fusion. Mm hmm some funky type well, that's, of stuff. Well, that's good. You know, that's original good. stuff. All the stuff we're going to play tonight is original material. Oh, good. So uh, we like to create on, you know, uh, a lot of uh, material that we make up on the spot. And at the same time, you know, our improvisations are made up, uh, you know, to create. That's my favorite thing to do. I you know? mean, I, you know, at this age, you know, playing out, is, yeah. it's... It, they like to be I would free, rather be you know? in a studio yeah. and just let it let it go. Yeah, I, I, like I to... love that. I, I really yeah. do. I really love that. That's my favorite thing to do. But um, we're going to cut to a commercial. We're going to come back with these fine gentlemen, and you're going to get to see what kind of talent I'm talking about here. So hang in there. We'll be right back with the Maverick Soul on Madhouse TV. Hang in there. It's going to get good. <laughs>
Okay, I, I've never had a reading like this before, so just bear with me. I, I'm, I'm seeing bugs. Bugs? I thought you were a psychic medium. I know, that's what's confusing. Uh, hold on. Do you want the good news or the bad news? I'll take the bad news. I think these are spirit bugs. Spirit bugs? I've never heard of spirit bugs. That's just it. Do you want the good news? Yes. I know Joe from Bug Busters of Long Island. He'll take care of your problem. That's great. Hi, I'm Vinny, owner of VMD Electric. Family owned and operated since 1996, serving all of Nassau and Suffolk County. You can call us anytime, night or day, at 631-669-6915 for all your residential and commercial needs. Here are some photos of our current projects. Suffolk County Gold Refinery for the highest paid prices for your gold, diamonds, and jewelry with cash on the spot. Visit their showroom for unbelievable prices on fine jewelry and engagement rings. 71 Nobot Boulevard, Farmingdale, 631-777-CASH. Suffolk County Gold Refinery for the highest paid prices for your gold, diamonds, and jewelry with cash on the spot. Visit their showroom for unbelievable prices on fine jewelry and engagement rings. 71 Nobot Boulevard, Farmingdale, 631-777-CASH. For the highest paid prices for your gold, diamonds, and jewelry with cash on the spot. Suffolk County Gold Refinery, 631-777-CASH. We are back with the Maverick Soul, Tommy Ma on Madhouse TV. And I got my three buddies here, and uh, we've been just chatting while the commercial was on. And um, we were just, you know, wondering, you know, like, uh, do, do any of you guys give lessons or anything? And you do, right? Yeah, I, I taught at Berklee College of Music. Um, I was an associate professor up there for 20 years in the drum department. I and, read that. I did. Yeah, and so now I'm back in, in New York. Uh, where I was before I went up to Berkeley. And uh, so I give private lessons in Brooklyn. And I guess the best way for people to get a hold of me is just rickconsodine.com. Um, Let's spell that for him because... Yeah, <clears throat> C-O-N-S-I-D-I-N-E. Okay. And then I've got a website and it'll direct uh, people to the... So all you drummers that want to get taught by a professional <laughs> veteran, that's your man right there. Yeah, thank you. So give him a call, and uh, he'll hook you up, that's for sure. Um, you guys all in New York. I know, Andy, you're in New York. Are you yeah. in New York, too? No, Long Island. Come on. Yeah, I, I moved from the, from the city. What, what, yeah. what is this, not New York anymore, or what? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's New York. You know, that one, one of my favorite things is people from Brooklyn yeah. that say, I'm going out to the island today. Yeah. I go, you live on the island. <laughs> yeah, right. No, yeah. I don't. My, my aunt that lives yeah. in Bay Ridge yeah. for now a 1,000 years, yeah. She still tells me, I do not live on Long Island. I go, you live on Long Island? Yeah. Did you pass any bridges when you came here? Yeah, those little ones on the Bell Parkway. I go, yeah. no, 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 no. You can't convince a person yeah. from Queens or yeah. Brooklyn that they live on the island. Yeah. They can't. It's ridiculous. It's, it's a true fact. I know. They will sit there and argue with you. But I'm, I'm going to let you know you live on, in New York. Okay. Even though you're on Long Island. Where, where, are you, where are you? Did you get hit with the hurricane? No, I'm in Rocky Point, the North Shore. Not sure, but I used to live in Woodhaven, Queens, and in Brooklyn. You know, yeah, yeah. everybody. The good old days. Yeah, yeah. The old Action House and. Oh yeah. And, uh, you guys remember that, right? All right, uh, we're going to go to another commercial, and when we come back, you're going to see some entertainment that's going to blow you away, and I can't wait to show these guys to you, because uh, it's an honor for us to have them here, and uh, this is going to be good. So, get yourself ready. Whatever you do to make yourself comfortable, 
and get ready for some great musicians. We'll be right back with the Maverick Soul. What is Grand Prix Motorsports? It's a full-service motorsport performance and service shop. It's West Coast custom style, East Coast pricing, old-school customer service, custom-built bikes, all-out performance upgrades, and free towing, too. Grand Prix Motorsports is automobile, motorcycle, jet ski, and ATV, performance, service, and repair. It's online at GrandPrixMS.com. Grand Prix Motorsports, Long Island Avenue, Deer Park. All right, we are back. I'm going to fall in your lap in a minute. But he's a good friend anyway. I want to introduce these guys, but before I do, I want to walk over here to this camera, and I want to show you this CD. Is that a good shot, guys? All right, that's the one you want to go out and buy. That's the back of it. These guys are incredible. And um, let me get back here a little bit. I want to introduce this band. The first song that they're going to do is an original song called Funk a Lunk. That's right. Funk a Lunk. <laughs> e, my kind of jazz. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to stop you anymore. I'd like to introduce In the Moment. Thank you. 
Nice solo there, my man. Everybody had good solos, but um, I don't want. I want to keep these guys going. So, you guys got another one in you? Yeah, we're gonna do a, uh, a blues one called "Down and Out" because we know there's a lot of damage uh, going on with Hurricane Sandy, and uh, this is out for them because we know how they feel down and out, and we're trying to get their feeling out there to show people that there's a lot of suffering out there. And they need help. There sure is. So we. <laughs> How they probably feel. I mean, okay. I can't speak for them, but I, you can I feel, know for them. I could feel for them, and you're going to feel it right through there. So, amen, amen. <laughs> go, my man, go.
Now that was for the victims. I'm not going to hold these guys up. I want them to play another one quick. Can you got another one? Yeah. Go ahead. I know I have to do this very gently, but I have to get in between you two guys here. Okay. All right. So, okay. did I tell you? Did I tell you these guys are hot, right? 
So this is the CD in the moment. Please go out and buy it. You will love it. I'm telling you right now, it's awesome. These guys are unbelievable musicians, the highest level of the game. And uh, I want to thank all of you for coming in. Thanks, Tommy, man. Andy, it thank was a pleasure. Well. Mike, you Rick. Doing? Thanks, buddy. It was a pleasure. Uh, how about you take us out with something? Okay. You got something yeah, in here? Yeah, we got something. All right, so we're going to say goodbye. We're going to see you on the road next week. The Jimi Hendrix 70th birthday next week, right here on the Maverick Soul Hour. So that one is going to be hot. Okay. One foot forward, one foot back.